Hey everyone, welcome back to this video series on the REST Assured tutorials. Now today I'm going to talk about a new authentication type, right? So we have talked already, um, we have looked at some of the authentication types which are present in REST Assured. So we have seen how you can um, authenticate your REST Assured APIs or REST, RESTful APIs by passing the API keys in the uh, parameters, query parameters. And then we have already seen how you can authenticate using the OAuth 2.0 token. Right now, uh, we will see how you can um, basically authenticate your APIs using the basic authentication. Right. So, what do you mean by basic authentication? So that means your um, your REST uh, REST API, right? Your RESTful APIs, they kind of uh, can be authenticated using the basic credentials, authentication credentials, which is nothing but a simple username and password. Right. So you can authenticate your API requests using this username and password that is called basic authentication. Okay. So if you have, uh, or if you are going to use this kind of application, you can use the basic authentication types, which are provided in rest assured. Now, basically there are two types of uh, basic authentication. So one is called the preemptive uh, authentication. The other is called the challenged authentication. Okay, so challenged basic authentication is the default type, right? So we'll see that um, in our scripts when we uh, kind of test this particular feature of REST Assured, we'll see how you can use uh, both the challenged basic authentication and how you can use the preemptive basic authentication. But uh, just remember that a challenged basic authentication is the default type. So and preemptive, you need to uh, specify it that it's a preemptive basic authentication. Right now, we'll see. Um, first, we need to understand what's the basic difference between these two authentication types. Right. So, preemptive, uh, as you can suggest, or you, if you guess it from the name itself, right? Preemptive. That means it preempts. Right. Um, even before uh, the server asks or sends a unauthorized response back. Right. The request will already send the basic authentication credentials to the server, right? It will not wait for the server to ask for it. Okay, so in that way, um, there is lesser load on the server because there is no need for additional connection to pass on the credentials to the server, right? So already we are sending it before uh, even the request reaches the server and the response is generated from the server, okay? So our authentication is already present in the request. So that's the preemptive basic authentication. Now coming to the other one, which is the challenge basic authentication. Now in this, we don't send the credentials until the server specifically asks for it. Okay. So an additional request is sent to challenge the server. And then again, another request is followed up, right? Again, another request is sent, uh, which will the, contain the basic credentials. Right. So there are two requests, which uh, first it will be to challenge the server. Basically, the server will tell that uh, that this request requires credential um, authentication. And then again, and the same request will be sent along with the credentials, basic credentials. So this is the uh, basic difference between preemptive and challenged. Right. It's very important to understand this concept because uh, mostly you'll be using the um, preemptive basic authentication unless there is a scenario in your test where you want to actually challenge the server or whether you want to verify whether the server is actually um, or if you are able to challenge the server for credentials right so if that's not the case you should be going for preemptive basic authentications where you will be sending your credentials beforehand to the server okay so um Seeing that, let's now look at a basic uh, API request, which actually um, accepts this basic authentication, right? So I'm using this Postman um, Eco API. It uh, When I go to this URL, uh, postmaneco.com basic auth, right? It is asking for this basic credentials, which is nothing but, as I said, username and password, right? So for this, I already know the username and password. Username is postman and password is password. So when I enter this username and password and I click on sign in, right? So this uh, API request will generate this response that is authenticated is true. So this is our response body. Very simple API, uh, nothing fancy. 
but in real world obviously you will have different kind of apis which will have this kind of basic credentials right to authenticate your api request and it will then give you some response back now how we can write some tests around this or how you can use the rest assured api to basically do basic authentication for your rest restful apis right so let's have a look at that so for that um, i will create basically another class right where i will write these tests so for this again um, let's create a test method here using our g unit framework and i will say public void i will say basic auth okay so let's call it preempt okay preempt and then we will say given okay we need to import the package given dot so here we'll be using the basic auth right so let's take auth and then we need to use the preemptive dot basic okay so this is how you use the preemptive basic authentication so auth you need to give uh, use given and then you need to uh, use auth then preemptive and then basic okay so inside this basic you need to pass the username and password so for me it's postman comma password and then the generic um given when then right so in when we'll pass uh, the url right so when get so we'll pass the url here which is nothing but this url okay and then we will say then we'll log our body and we'll see what is getting printed here so this is the preemptive basic authentication right so let's execute this and just verify whether it is uh, returning the expected uh, response or not okay so it's the same thing which we got in our browser authenticated true so that's the expected response so our basic authentication is working fine now as i said this is the preemptive authentication now if we look at the challenged authentication so you don't need to do anything additional here you need to just use the basic authentication right so basic challenged auth so everything is going to remain same almost so we'll use given auth and here we'll be using the basic so that's why i said um, it's kind of default in rest assured because then you just need to specify basic and it will uh, consider it as challenged authentication type okay so nothing else in preemptive you need to uh, specify it as preemptive so we'll use this same thing here okay so let's execute this um, and just verify it if we are getting the same result or not okay so the same result same response body so this is how you can use both basic and uh, sorry preemptive basic and challenged basic authentication in rest assured and uh, it it can be used for any application which accepts the basic authentication credentials okay 
So that's all for this video. I hope you like this video. Uh, if you have any questions or any feedback, please leave back in the comments and I will get back to you. So keep watching and see you in the next video.